Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk and the future trading. We strongly recommend to get educated before you start using real money. Uh, we're going to start today with the TI7 uh, auto trade with uh, some new templates we made. And uh, to our traders, we will share those new templates uh, on uh, uh, Monday. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, the one minute. Uh, this is a one minute Russell, and uh, this is where it started. Uh, all of them they start a little bit before 10 o'clock, and it was one trade, two trade, and it was done around 11.15. A beautiful entry, exit, entry, exit, and you can see here the, the market didn't make any money. And uh, this is uh, 2400. On the ES5 minutes is scalping on the TI7. Uh, we got uh, 1500. On the ES8 range, uh, we had one small trade, and then we have one big trade, and it was done before 11 o'clock. And that was 1937. Uh, on the CL, uh, we had uh, uh, one minute and a nailed 1960 and also finished before 12 o'clock uh, the gold on the three minutes nailed you can see where the gold started on the first trade uh, they all started a little bit before 10 o'clock and it was done also before 12 o'clock and this is the way it's supposed to be and uh, on the we we were we had this one running on the other channel today live uh, on the YM one minute again and uh, it is 3680 and this is really a beautiful trades uh, on the YM three minutes one entry this one was uh, uh, before we started the auto trade so the auto trade the first trade because when you activate your auto trade and if it's in a trade, it's not going to activate a new trade until that trade is closed. So the delay was until that trade was closed. So the auto trade took the first trade uh, around 1030. And that's why the delay all the way to the 106. Because of the previous trade, uh, the uh, European market did not close until 10 o'clock. And that it is... Uh, caused the delay to activate a new trade uh, on the CL 55 second beautiful 2160 on the gold uh, 1290 uh, on the DAX 1170 based on four minutes uh, CL uh, scalping uh, 1000 ES 14 seconds 1300 uh, CL 9 range 1000, uh, CL 4 minutes 1100, ES 5 minutes. I did a beautiful entry. It was even uh, done. It's right there because we started at 10 o'clock and it was done 1187. Uh, the CL 5 minutes 1150. <coughs> Then we have the NASDAQ 5 minutes 1100 and then ES uh, 1250 and uh, the NASDAQ it was a very good one uh, based on a three minutes and uh, started uh, this is the first trade the second trade broke even and then the last trade and it was 5845 uh, I want to bring a, a different uh, type of an uh, auto trade uh, called the TI7. The TI7 is a one entry, very simple entry and uh, very friendly use. Uh, the CL9 range on the uh, Precision Auto Trade did 2260. Uh, on the NASDAQ, 275 ticks, 1220. And then uh, we have the NASDAQ, 3 minutes, 1320. Uh, scalping the NASDAQ 1460, the CL12 range 1120, 
1875 on the 30 year treasury bond the es hit the target on 1000 they all on 1000 this is on 1000 a day and uh, it is 22nd 3000 on the 3 minutes scalping the 7 range was my favorite uh, trade on the precision auto trade and I broke even and then I took a beautiful ride on one trade and it was done those kind of trades are my favorite despite the amount is irrelevant uh, ES 1250 uh, I believe this one was on the other channel today live uh, on the live channel um, you can see the link uh, be below and it is 1680 CL4 range 1000 3280 on the uh, NASDAQ and uh, NASDAQ 39 second it, it, it was 2640 uh, I will show, I mean, there is 15 auto trade, but I will show one more auto trade for today. The scalper is also very friendly use. You don't need to use uh, stop loss or trailing stop. You can if you want to. Also, the, tra the scalper, you can set your daily target, losses or winning. You can set the time on all the auto trades. You can let it start, let's say, around 9.30, finish around 11 o'clock. And you can set your target, let's say 200, 300, depends what kind of account you have. And if you're not a professional trader, you don't know how to optimize the trading stop, stop last. We have so many entries, they can do it by themselves automatically. And uh, the scalper is one of them. If you put a zero on the trading stop, stop last, uh, the auto trade can take over and determine so if we and all of them they are on automatic there is no training stuff all of them here and um, as you notice how uh, the trade is taken in and going out going in and going out because it's a scalping so uh, and uh, you can see the auto trade is very accurate when to go in and when to go out he has six range is a 1300 and this one is a six range one of them is limited order one of them is a market order the reason you don't see that much different on them because the entry they are based on the pullback re-entry so on the pullback re-entry of course they're both getting filled almost at the same time so it is based on identifying trend pullback re-entry that never uh, lose uh, on 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 this kind of uh, trades. Um, when you are trading manually, it is it's been around. It's, it is the most successful way to trade manually. Um, pullback re-entry, identify trend, pullback re-entry. Now on the auto trade, is a little bit different rules, but um, uh, we try to do that also automated. So ES8 range, 1100, and you can see they all finished right away. Uh, 7 range, 30 year treasury bond, uh, 1125, uh, 2980 on uh, YM 9 range, uh, 290 takes YM, did uh, 1245, and uh, the NASDAQ 495 did 1180. ES5 range uh, did uh, 1,000, but it was, I think, two trades. One, two, yeah, two trades. And you can see the difference in timing between the two trades until he got it. And then um, uh, 520, 30 year treasury bond did 1,000 even. And uh, took three trade on the gold six range, 1290 and uh, 1245 on the nasdaq 10 range and uh, the, the the precision auto trade and uh, uh, scalpers are really really friendly use now for the market analyzer if you follow us on the other channel the market analyzer this is the last trade for today and um, 
and those are based on the 15 second and this is the last trades for today uh, folks and uh, the Russell also I'm not a Russell trader but here is the Russell folks that's all what we have for you and uh, we wish you a really pleasant weekend and uh, God bless every single one of you bye for now thank you very much